show you how it's done. Jousting. It's a sport that is truly epic, but nowadays it's only played by history buffs and people who've watched The Hobbit too many times. So, you probably don't need to learn how to do it. Or do you? Picture the scene. It's your annual school sports day and there's no one that can run an egg and spoon race like you. You're excited. But when you get to the start line, instead of an egg and spoon, the teacher gives you a full suit of armour and a horse. Looks like you need some jousting skills and fast. So, how do you become epic at jousting? Our man Stephen Graham, actor and massive history buff, is here to tell you all you need to know about the game. Take it away, big man. So, you want to be epic at jousting? Well, to be a great jouster, you have to be a knight, which means you have to be the son of a knight or the son of a lord. Or, like me, a very lucky peasant. And me. Jousting was a game which was only played at peacetime, while the knights were not away at war. It was the highlight of a tournament, which included lots of games. One of them was a game called the melee, which involved a load of knights having a massive scrap. <laughs> <laughs> The aim of jousting was to knock your opponent off his horse and score as many points as possible. Sounds easy. But when you're wearing a suit of armour that weighs over 25 kilograms, it's not. Oh, then you had to ride your horse and carry a lance, which was up to four metres long. This is a nightmare. How do you win? The best way to win would be to try to knock your opponent off by hitting the breastplate. Easy. We've got this one nailed. Hey, yo! Now, if you did manage to survive and win, your reward was to be able to take your opponent's armour and horse. Yes! More armour and more horses. Result. Which most knights sold back to them. <laughs> Even better! Money! Cha-ching! And that... How you become epic at jousting! Thanks, Stephen. From a medieval...